traitors to the Empire. He will be interrogated, tortured. You will give me the names of your friends and allies. And then you will die. Our deaths will only rally others. Your very public and painful executions will serve as an example to the rest of the galaxy. There may be a rebellion yet. Lord Leather, deal with the boy. much to learn. You have nothing left to teach me. Always two there are. No more, no less. A master and an apprentice. Darth Vader is no joke. This is a very challenging fight. It's probably going to take you a couple attempts on your first playthrough. It definitely took me a few attempts uh, whenever I was playing through this. But just keep trying. That's the best advice I can say. Just keep trying. You have served me well, but your usefulness is at an end. Circular will be doing a bunch of uh, force grips on you, as well as uh, stabbing you on the ground. So you want to watch out for that. If you're not careful, you're going to lose your health very, very quickly against this guy. But just keep moving. You may have a hard time keeping up with you if you keep moving around. And whenever he does uh, the force field of death like that, run away like a little sister baby. He's going to be vulnerable to force lightning. That's going to be your best option. Keep your distance. Force lightning. That's going to be your best option. If he does a force lock, your leeway for success on that is very, very tight. So be careful with that. That was a cheap move, opening up the lightsaber throw. That was cheap. And this part right here, I'm gonna say, it can be very, very frustrating because, uh, yeah, this attack where he throws things at you, it's very, very difficult to avoid. A lot of the websites, uh, a lot of the walkthroughs I was reading on this said different things to avoid it. Some of them said you could use our lightsaber throw to destroy it before it gets to you. Others were trying to say that using the force grip on it too would work. And one that I said to just keep moving around and you'll be able to avoid that. Your journey ends here now. I was having a hard time with any of that, so yeah, definitely keep trying. Um, the best advice, honestly, is probably to use a lightsaber throw on Vader himself um, um, whenever he's throwing stuff at you. And also I want to talk about that force uh, lock for a moment, when you both use the force lightning against each other. Has there any been has there been any other moment in Star Wars canon where Darth Vader has used force lightning? Even this game isn't canon anymore, it was for a brief period of time there. So at some point, Darth Vader was able to use force lightning and we've never been able to see him use it again. I think there is a canonical reason why you can't use it, something about the like Anakin struggled using that ability when he became Vader and things like that. And also the I like robot limbs and things like that also made it difficult for him too, so that's not fun. But yeah, keep the same strategy as before. You will die like your father. Sometimes you'll be able to deal some lightning lightsaber damage when you get to the platform. But he will be using force grip like crazy on that, so you won't be careful. We'll probably have a clip of this a little bit later as well, but there's one point where... I'm gonna have it on screen, but there's a point where, like, Starkiller instantly died, and I remember in the live commentary I was furious about this.
So that definitely wasn't fun to deal with. But also, we did the thing where we got... Where we did the super epic combo on Vader that looked super epic and awesome. We're not going to have much of an opportunity to talk about this further, but I gotta say, the voice actor for Vader in this game, it's not James Earl Jones, but my goodness, he does a great impersonation of him. And this is my favorite lightsaber lock in the game! Yeah, that part is so cool! Just seeing, like, Vader just casually step out of the way of his attacks and just strangles him! The circular force pushes him! That part is just so cool! I love this game so much! At this point, we have a choice to make. Get revenge on Vader, and fall to the dark side, or save our friends. We're going to fight the Emperor. And I'm gonna just open up with this and just say, this is kind of a lame final boss. So most of the Emperor's attacks against you it's going to be Force Lightning that's just going to be going like crazy. He'll be using the same Force Grip thing that Vader was doing, but his is a lot easier to avoid because you have these balcony thingies that can help you. And there's not really that much you can do against the Emperor himself while he's throwing stuff at you, so that's a little bit annoying. He's going to have that, light, that lightning bubble surrounding him every now and then, which can be very, very annoying to deal with. He also has a tendency to dodge out of the way when you're reading your lightsaber attacks. So, yeah, whenever you're doing that... Using your light, trying to use our lightsaber block, um, this lightning should, in theory, be helpful. But the annoying thing that I really don't like is the fact that it seems like every five seconds or whatever, these uh, shadow guards will show up while the emperor hides in his bubble. I will say I'm not too fond of this boss fight. The em the Vader fight was epic. That was a real final boss. I love the Vader fight so much. The emperor fight, not too fond of it. I just also think it's kind of weird that he doesn't have his lightsaber in this fight. And I know Kodo stole it in the cutscene and things like that, but that also happens in the Wii version, and you do fight the Emperor with his lightsaber in that version. So it's just a little bit unusual. But something really funny about this, that I didn't know about until I was starting this let's play, I think uh, someone in the comments pointed it out, but remember when I mentioned in the, a couple of videos ago that Starkiller and Darth Maul had the same voice actor and things like that? Something I didn't know about. The Emperor. Same voice actor as Starkiller. <laughs> so the final boss of this game, it's like he's fighting himself. I just think that's really funny. And it really does show the range that the guy has, too. Like, I apologize. I'm terrible with names. The captain's screens. Do your thing. But, man, like, the range he has of uh, having Starkiller and, like, the twisted nature of the Emperor himself. And also 
a different kind of twisted nature with Darth Maul and the Clone Wars series. That's all kinds of awesome. We got some more shadow guard to deal with, so yay, that's fun. And also a bit of a fun thing that I want to point out that this it wasn't intentional at the time that I made this video, but looking back on it, like when I was planning out this let's play and things like that, it kind of just worked out. So one of the episode titles for my Pikmin 2 let's play was somehow the Emperor returned. This was in reference to the fact that we were fighting the Emperor Ball Blacks again in that in that episode, but also the fact that, like I like, the Force Unleashed was the game I was thinking about doing a let's play of at the time. I didn't confirm anything in my mind at that time because like I always have like a bunch of like a long list of games that I want to do that I will eventually get to at some point. Force Unleashed was the one that I was thinking about again at that time. It wasn't one that I had in my mind for my 2024 lineup at the time, but with that ending up happening anyway, it just kind of worked out. It was really great. That sound effect the Emperor does when he's like, oh, yeah. I don't know why, but it's like one of my favorite sounds that the Emperor has ever made. And the Emperor has had some pretty great quotes. We saw before when he was all like, and then you will die. That is iconic. If this game is going to be remembered for anything, it's going to be the li that line where the Emperor is all like, and then you will die. <laughs> oh, man. Also, that lightsaber like, stabby thingy, that's always super satisfying. It's a very nice way to, like, quickly defeat them. So, that's definitely something that's worth mentioning as well. It kind of starts in, like, the Emperor right there. You will give me all the eggnog, and then you will die. <laughs> Lucasarts, Lucasfilm, whoever is in charge of Star Wars things right now, hire me for the Emperor voice. Uh, I would be a great Emperor. I pretty, pretty please. <laughs> I might be a bad person, but <laughs> just seeing this over and over again. <laughs> he tries to be epic, jumping off a ledge, but then he gets shot. <laughs> this one might be a bad person, but just seeing this over and over again is really funny. to destroy me. Do it. Give in to your hatred. He's beaten. Let it go. It's a trick. He's stronger than you know, and he deserves to die for what he's done to me. Maybe so. But if you strike him down in anger, you'll be right back where you began. Get Bale and the others out of here. I'll be right behind you. Go! Hurry! Protect the Senators!
he is dead. Then he is now more powerful than ever. He was meant to root out the rebels. His sacrifice will only inspire them. But now we know who they are. I will hunt them down and destroy them. As you always intended, Master. You must be relentless, Lord Vader. If even a single rebel survives, this alliance that we have unwittingly created will be our undoing. Are we ready to finish what he started? Then at last, the Rebel Alliance is born. Here. Tonight. We need a flag to rally behind. A symbol. A symbol of hope. He's at last one with the Force. You always knew who he was, didn't you? I suspected, yes. Then why did you help us, after all the things we'd done? When he came to me in the bar, among all his dark thoughts, I glimpsed one bright spot, one beautiful thing he held on to, even at the end. What? You. And that was it here to use let's play of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I love Star Wars. I've been wanting to do a let's play of Force Unleashed for a while. It just didn't come up until recently and things like that. And the thing is, even though I was thinking about it again last year, it didn't really happen until I realized that Batman Arkham Asylum was going to end in time for me to do something Star Wars related for May the 4th and that's the big thing that kept this from happening for so long was that I wanted something Star Wars related on May the 4th so even if the Let's Play itself didn't start the announcement video did and I was really happy with how that turned out it probably shouldn't have taken this long to finish though I apologize for that whenever I go traveling on vacations and things like that it tends to slow videos down, and there were two of them that happened during this Let's Play with too many games and PAX West 2024, so I do apologize for that. But with that said, I loved how this Let's Play turned out. It had some really fun moments, with, especially with things like finding out what happened if you attack General Coda in Cloud City and things like that. And I just got to gush about Star Wars, and that's something that I just absolutely love doing. So... I was really happy about that. And I'm also happy about the fact that we're not quite done yet. There's quite a bit we're going to be doing in bonus videos. Not right away, mind you, but we are going to have a nice backlog of bonus videos for this game that we will be getting around to. The problem, though, is that I am going to have to find another copy of this game to get that to work because the Xbox 360 marketplace shut down, so I don't have a way to download the DLC game the DLC levels unless I can get a copy of the Ultimate Sith Edition, which shouldn't be too hard to find, but you know, it might take a while. <laughs> but yeah, we are gonna be handling the DLC episodes in a future video. We are also gonna be talking about the alternate ending for this game, which we'll be showcasing probably the next episode or whatever. We're also gonna be talking about the Wii version. There was a lot of interesting stuff in the Wii version that I didn't know about before I started this play. So we're going to have a video on that. And I also just kind of want to make a video talking about the sequel in general and the cancelled Force of News 3, because I think that is definitely something worth mentioning. 
But that's something we'll be taking care of at a later time. What's happening soon on the channel, you may be wondering. Well, Pikmin 2 is going to be wrapping up pretty soon. That's going to be our main focus right now. We're not going to be starting up another Let's Play while Pikmin 2 is ongoing. That's going to change my mind, which is very likely to happen. But that's my current mindset. After Pikmin 2, we do have that other game that's been ongoing on the channel for a while. And I think it's time that we got back into it. As well as the next Let's Play. Which, depending on how you look at it, it could be considered a sequel, could be considered a prequel, a little bit of both. It depends on how it depends on how you look at it. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. And until next time, Lady Gear to you. Thank you.